guys, Kim here, and welcome to another episode of Kim TV, the tutorial section, or segment, not section. Anyway, so I really wanted to take like two or three minutes to show you guys something that has been highly requested via my Facebook uh, inbox messages. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to create um, Facebook ad reports, and this is just going to help you overall, even if you're not um, a social media manager or an advertiser, even if you're just doing this for your business, it's um, definitely going to be helpful for you just to figure out how is my, or how are my ads really um, performing and whether or not you should make adjustments to them. So I'm here in my ads manager, and this is just the Facebook ads manager. You should be able to find this fairly easily in the um, home feed section of your personal profile. So I'm just on my Facebook account. Make sure that you selected the account that corresponds to your Facebook account. And then you're going to go over here, scroll down to reports, click on that. And it's going to show you a bunch of different um, metrics, but you want to make sure that you're selecting the right date range, which is going to be over here on the right hand corner. So because I haven't run an ad in a while from my account, I am going to click on the custom section and I'm just going to run an ad report from March of last year because I have one specific campaign in mind through November of this year. Sorry, November of last year. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So we have that set and right this is just going to download a bunch of information for all of my ads in general okay so here we are if i want to select a particular campaign i'm just going to go over to the campaign name this is the one that i'm interested in i'm going to copy that and i'm going to add a filter with the campaign name. Now you can filter via ads that are ad name, but for this particular purpose, I just want to see how that one campaign was performing. Okay, so awesome. Now I'm going to get all of this data. As you can see, it's a lot of it and I can scroll and it just kind of continues. And I'm just going to select the metrics that are most important to me. Okay, so the way that we do that is we click on customize columns and this is just going to give you a ton of data that you can pull from your Facebook ads. Crazy information. So I don't really care a lot about the reach. I do care about the frequency. Don't care about the impressions. And this is definitely something that you are going to select, you know, what are the metrics that you want to measure. I'm just measuring these for my personal um, sort of knowledge. So don't necessarily follow the exact same things that that I'm you know selecting because I don't care about cost per 1000 impressions I ran a cost per click campaign so it really doesn't matter but I do want to see the amount spent the amount of page likes I got and then the amount of page engagement this is just really simple really basic um, sort of metrics and I want to make sure that nothing else is checked okay campaign name awesome I'm just gonna add the objective there too so I'm just gonna hit apply and it's just basically going to shrink that information to only the basics that I selected. Cool. So this is basically going to tell me, hey Kim, look, these are the two ads that you were running and they were shown 1.24 times per person, which is great. We want to keep that frequency low. A total of 1.60 or 1.6. Um, there was 1,093 clicks. Unique clicks were 955, click through rate was 2.4, which is really good for a Facebook ad. All right, I spent $200, I paid 20 cents per click. Awesome, I got 1,800 actions. All right, don't really care about the rest of the stuff, but now I wanna find out how much I paid per click. And I realized I didn't add that in the custom column section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my custom column section and I'm gonna go over my engagement section on um, and so i'm just going to go over here to engagement scroll down and i'm going to click on co cost per like select that apply it let that information load and it's just going to show up here at the very end okay awesome so it's 31 cents per like if you want to move that data you can do that by 
dragging it here. Super simple, super easy. Make it a little bit more readable that way. But here comes the fun part. What you can do is create these reports and then share and save them. So I'm going to go ahead and save this report. I'm going to name it Facebook or 2014 Facebook ad campaign. Facebook like ad campaign. All right, so that gives me more information. Save that there. Perfect. And now that info is going to be here on the current reports. It's going to show me all of the reports that have been saved in the past. So got that there. Awesome. Now if I want to share that report with someone else who is um, an admin or not an admin, I, I should say an advertiser in the same ad account, um, definitely you can share that report, but you have to make sure that they are an advertiser in that ad account that you're sending um, the information from. So I can make this link shorter. Great. Grab that link and email it to um, my quote unquote advertiser, which in this case can be a client or just someone else on your team who can um, benefit from this information. All right, guys, so that was really simple, really easy way to create a Facebook ads report that gives you a ton of information on how your ads are performing and also gives you a lot of data on how you can definitely change and tweak your ads. I hope it was helpful and definitely leave me a comment below if you would like to see more in-depth tutorials on Facebook um, advertising reports. I hope you're having an awesome day or night if you're watching this at night, and I will catch you next time on Q&A. Bye!